Okay, I want to share with you something very important about sleep. Recently, um, I've been listening to Andrew Huberman, Dr. Andrew Huberman from Stanford University. Very impressed with his work and the way he presents it, with the way he shares it. Um, so this is based on a Master Your Sleep podcast. Uh, I'm going to give you the executive notes, just a quick rundown so you can decide if, you, if it's interesting to you or not and give it a listen if it is. So he talks about sleep and how important sleep is. Um, and the number one thing is to view sunlight by going outside within 30 to 60 minutes of getting up, waking up. Uh, I've been doing this for the past probably six weeks. I wake up at 5.30 every morning and by six, by 5.50 I'm, I'm walking outside. I generally walk for 10 minutes. He talks about getting photons in your eyes first thing in the morning because the sun's rising at the time. In Japan it is anyway. Um, and getting light in your eyes sets your circadian rhythm so that you go to sleep uh, at the right time at night. Um, he also talks about doing this uh, in the afternoon and again at sunset. So at least I, I get this early minute, 10 minutes of sunlight in the morning and then do my best to get 10 minutes or so at night with the sunset. I usually enjoy that with my wife. We have a, an eighth floor deck on our, on our apartment building so we check out the sun up there. Um, works. I mean, it works like clockwork. I've, I've actually done this for six weeks and I wake up before my alarm 99% of the time. Occasionally I'll sleep in, but it's almost always I'll wake up and then the alarm goes off. It works. Uh, wake up at the same time each day and go to sleep when you first start to feel sleepy. Um, three, avoid caffeine within eight to 10 hours of bedtime. So I think we all know this one. We all have different abilities with caffeine. Um, some people can drink caffeine right before they go to bed and they're fine. Some can't, I can't. I'm usually around after 2 p.m. Uh, if I drink caffeine after 2 p.m. I, I can feel it at night. Um, if you have sleep disturbances, insomnia, or anxiety about sleep, um, try the Reverie app, R-E-V-E-R-I, for iOS or Android. Uh, I got it, I haven't really used it, uh, but it sounds interesting and I'm gonna give it a shot. So. Five, avoid viewing bright lights, especially overhead lights uh, between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. Um, most people I know are up after 10 p.m., so if you can put lights on the floor, um, try to keep the lights lower than eye level. Um, I like to put on uh, a candle at night um, before bed. That really does a, a good trick on making me sleepy and getting ready for bed. Um, Number six, limit daytime naps to less than 90 minutes. So we've all heard the 20 minute, 30 minute thing, which is good, but he says that at max, don't, don't sleep more than 90 minutes or don't nap at all. Seven, if you wake up in the middle of the night, but you can't fall back asleep, consider doing NSDR, which is non-sleep deep rest protocol. Uh, there are a couple things. You can put NSDR on, on YouTube or you can do Yoga Nidra, N-I-D-R-A. Put that into YouTube as well. And, you can do this kind of relaxation technique. Uh, eight, um, consider taking these supplements. So I'm not recommending these, uh, but I have been experiment, experimenting with them. Uh, magnesium threonate uh, is something that I used. It's, it's on the expensive side. Uh, that in combination with 200 milligrams of theanine, it's called L-theanine or theanine, um, really relaxes you at night time. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing. When I first started taking, it was like, wow, this is it's kind of amazing. So um, it's up to you. I'm not giving you advice to do that. this, uh, but um, it does work. And I've used magnesium citrate, which is a, it's a much, it's a, a less expensive form of magnesium, which works. Some people have, um, can get diarrhea if I run, so you have to be a bit careful. Um, or uh, bisgl bisglycinate. So magnesium bisglycinate is another one, and that's that's actually right here. Um, they all work. Um, it's up to you. Number nine, expect to feel really alert one hour before your natural bedtime. I didn't think this was true, but right now is exactly that time for me here, and I feel quite wide awake. Maybe it's because there's a camera in front of me and I'm talking to it. And I'm talking to you. Uh, Ten, keep your room, uh, the room you sleep in, cool and dark. I think we know this and have a layer of blankets because he says our body will um, sometimes get hot, sometimes get cold. So it's good to that we can adjust with blankets. 
Um, and 11, drinking alcohol and most sleep medications mess up your sleep. So a lot of people think a little bit of alcohol relaxes them, it does, but it doesn't, it's not good for sleep and neither are sleep medications. So that's it. If you like this, this talk, I'll put a link uh, below this video and you can have a, a listen to his podcast. He's awesome. He talks about a lot of different things. He talks about hypertrophy, muscle, muscle building, fasting, uh, the timing of caffeine. It's really deep. Really recommend Dr. Andrew Huberman. All right. Be healthy. Thanks.